Hi guys, I'm Randy with BRS TV and today we're showing you how easy it is to couple Red Sea's trace colors, trace elements, with our very own BRS two-part alkalinity calcium and magnesium additives to give you a fully balanced dosing method to replace major, minor, and trace elements. Every reefer knows that maintaining calcium, alkalinity, and magnesium properly is at the core of sustaining a successful reef tank, and most reefers are capable of addressing other minor and trace elements with a decent salt mix and water change schedule. However, if you have a high demand tank, do few water changes, or generally want to step up your two-part dosing game, the Red Sea Trace Colors is an excellent pairing with BRS two-part to address all three major, minor, and trace elements together. As we'll show you a bit later, dosing the Red Sea Trace Colors is super simple because Red Sea has tied the doses of each component, A, B, C, and D, to the calcium consumption in your tank meaning that you can choose to dose daily or even once per week in relation to how much calcium you dose. Tying trace elements to calcium consumption makes a lot of sense because presumably corals are consuming trace, minor, and major elements in very similar ratios to each other, and following that logic when dosing is just a better approach than dosing random amounts of all-in-one trace element solutions. Lastly, each component of the Red Sea Trace Colors is designed specifically to target certain colors and metabolic benefits in your corals. For example, in the Trace Colors A supplement, there are main elements of iodine, bromine, and fluorine, which Red Sea states are halogen elements that act as antioxidants and oxidative agents in the soft tissues and mucous layers of the corals that reduce possible coral bleaching. Along with that, bromine and iodine are said to be related to pink chromoproteins. The Trace Colors B bottle includes lead elements of boron and potassium, which they state plays an essential role in transporting coral nutrients, is related to red chromoproteins, and also plays a role in aragonite formation within the coral skeleton. Within the Trace Coral C is a complex of light metals, which are reported by Red Sea to play fundamental roles in metabolic processes, including respiration and production of energy, chlorophyll, and photosynthetic catalysts. They precipitate into the coral skeleton as a reservoir for use in the soft tissue and are related to the green and yellow chromoproteins. Finally, the Trace Colors D component, which is a mix of 18 trace elements with main elements like silver, gold, vandium, and tungsten that participate in different metabolic processes inside the coral skeleton and tissue. The elements in this final Trace Colors bottle are reported to be related to blue and purple chromoproteins. The Red Sea Coral Colors comes in a smaller four-pack of 100 milliliter bottles or individual 500 mil bottles. We'll dive into determining your dose in just a minute, but essentially if you dose under 50 milliliters per day of calcium to your tank, you may only need the smaller four-pack of bottles, which could last you up to two to three months. For those with larger tanks who may have higher demands on calcium, like over 50 mils dose per day, or for those who like to stock up for even longer periods of dosing, it may be more cost effective to pick up a 500 milliliter bottle of each coral color component. Most reefers will opt to dose the Red Sea Trace Colors by hand about once per week. However, for you automation junkies who want to hook these up to dosing pumps to help automate the task, Forehead dosers like this one from GHL or Camor are obviously more convenient, while the Neptune dose will likely be more robust and accurate of the bunch. If you do stick with hand dosing, you can upgrade your dosing accuracy by using graduated syringes like these 1 mil and 5 mil to help you divide a single dose if you're between our recommendations. And finally, Red Sea does offer a Trace Colors Pro Test Kit to test your tank's levels for the lead minor elements like iodine, potassium, and iron. With the four bottle package of Red Sea Trace Colors, you'll get four 100 milliliter bottles with each component, along with a limited use dropper with graduations up to three mils. And with each individual 500 mil bottle of the Trace Color components, they include a measuring and dosing cup with a larger portion for measuring doses of up to 50 milliliters and a smaller portion with graduations up to four mils. There are a couple of methods that Red Sea suggests for dosing the Trace Colors program to your tank, such as testing for each lead element and calculating your specific dose based on daily or weekly consumption rates. However, we find that dosing based on your use of calcium to be much quicker and easier to figure out and a more realistic solution for reefers who don't have time for frequent testing. So in conjunction with that, we've done the math for you and found that for every 51.1 milliliters of BRS liquid calcium solution you dose to your tank, you should add one milliliter of each trace colors, minor, and trace element solution. It's as simple as that, meaning if you dose 100 mils per day of BRS calcium, that would be roughly two mils per day of trace colors, but you're more likely to dose once a week, which would be about 14 mils. 
For ongoing use of your minor and trace element dosing coupled with BRS two-part additives, using Red Sea's Trace Colors Pro Test Kits could offer you a window into where your main elements like iodine, potassium, and iron are, and if they need to be slightly increased or decreased. Along with that, keeping up with routine water changes can help to level out any imbalances from salinity, minor, or trace elements that may be elevated. Thanks for watching, and if you have any more questions that we didn't answer here, feel free to give us a call, send us an email, or hop on a chat. See you next time on BRS TV.